You might be surprised that Google would buy a company that produces utensils like spoons and forks. But these are no ordinary spoons. The company called Liftware develops products to help people with movement disorders eat independently for the first time. When exactly was the idea really born? The idea to help people with pathological tremor happened just after I finished my doctorate. For about three years, we worked on the technology to develop some basic prototypes that would actually help people with tremor. A lot of smartphones have anti-shake technology where you know just normal hand jitters are compensated by moving, moving the actual lens inside the camera. We just took that basic concept and scaled it to something that could be useful for people with much larger amplitude tremor. About nine months later, we you know, we're in discussions with Google, and with that backing, it was actually, you know, transformative. We were able to leverage a lot of the resources and talent inside of Google to really jumpstart and further develop a lot of the ideas that we had. Danny, who has cerebral palsy, was one of Anna Palm's prototype testers, and he and his brother Stanford, also his carer, even helped with the design. How difficult was it for you before having the spoon that you're holding now to eat, eat a meal like this. I was eating soup, and I had to pick up the bowl to slurp the soup. But with the Google spoon, I can eat pasta now, salad, and don't get food all over me. It's really wonderful. It's really an amazing experience to watch Daniel have access to all these different foods and be able to do that independently. Gosh, that looks so much easier much faster as well, less spilling. If you look at the technologies that are out there helping people with disabilities or loss of function, a lot of those are 100 years old. There's a huge opportunity to make profound differences in people's quality of life just by leveraging a lot of the new things that are being developed in other sectors. Why isn't there more innovation of this kind for people with disabilities? There's a huge opportunity right now. You know, it's estimated almost a billion people have some sort of disability in, in the world. And so that's a, that's a huge number when you really kind of broaden the this, this scope out. There's more and more attention that's being drawn to this space, especially as you know, new technologies are being developed and the potential to transform people's lives is being recognized. We want to expand the utility of our devices. We are actively working on new technologies today. The vision really in the next five to 10 years is really rethinking what it means to have a disability. With technology, there'll be a lot more opportunities to elevate a person's functionality to be the same or maybe even better than they were before disease or, or any other you know, physical impairment. In a few years from now, the company hopes to release an open framework for anyone in the technology community to build applications for people in need.